Bulletproof Software was originally working on a puzzle game for the Super NES called Hermetica. After a meeting with Nintendo in 1992, Hermetica was retooled into a Mario game and christened Yoshi's Cookie. This latest attempt at a Mario puzzler as you try to clear the board of cookies before they overrun. Each round in action mode consists of 10 stages. After each round is finished, you are rewarded with a short cutscene involving Mario chasing a sentient cookie. In versus mode, you square off against a computer, trying to get your opponent's speed used up. That is, unless random stuff like shipping cookies and cover-ups come along to mess you up. Then there's puzzle mode, where you have to clear the board with only a limited number of moves. The meaning that led Hermetica to be converted to Yoshi's Cookie was also seen Nintendo port the game to the NES and Game Boy. In 1994, a special version of the game was released as a Japanese exclusive. Yoshi's Cookie, Kudopon Obon de Cookie. A promotional tool for the new Kudopon oven. This version came with a tutorial mode, which made use of an overhead view complete with graphics echoing Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Here, Yoshi provides tutorials on how you can make the cookies featured in the main game. And would you believe that this game, despite being a glorified advertisement, is one of the most expensive titles for the Super Famicom? Only 500 were made, and it's worth nearly 2,000 US dollars. Folks, I need to level with you. I hate it when a video runs short like this, but puzzle games just tend not to lend themselves to long discussions. If you notice my coverage of Alleyway and Yoshi, I didn't talk about them as much as Donkey Kong or Super Mario Land. When it comes to puzzle games, you can pretty much cover everything within a minute. Kind of brings me down too, since I want as much detail in this series as I can spare. But maybe the next bit can make up for it. What's it gonna be? Ooh boy.